I messed up, Islanders. I woke up this morning and I thought about the show today. I thought about the content that you and I were going to discuss. And I thought about the carnival ecstasy. She's embarking passengers on her last selling before she's gone. And I put on the all black. I thought, yep, it's more of a, a funeral attitude and mindset today. The black shirt, the all black hat. And I was wrong. So many fellow Islanders are embarking on this last selling. We're about to share pictures and video on the other side of this intro. John Hill has shared the atmosphere and the environment. And it's not a funeral setting. It's a celebration. People are having fun. We're going to talk about the Carnival Ecstasy today. And that is out with the old, the in with the new. The Norwegian Prima completes her first selling from the United States, from New York. We've got that for you as well. Let's talk about cruising and cruise news right now on Island Time. A big happy Monday to all you Islanders. I hope you had a great weekend and I hope your Monday is off to a great start. Thank you for stopping by the show today. I am Derek and it is time. Let's drop those anchors right now. Let's take some time and relax in the islands together. I told you I dressed wrong for the occasion. I told you we have pictures and video. Look at this, the carnival ecstasy. The big news in the cruise industry today is that she is selling on her last selling with paying passengers. Look at these pictures here. Mr. Mike Piper, fellow Islander who we've known for over a year now, Jody Perdue, John Orris, they were cruising last week. I think they are this week as well. Shirley Squires, uh, Brian Skinner took this awesome shot last week. That actually is our thumbnail for the video today. And of course, video from Lizette Alvarado of the Ecstasy leaving Progresso last month. Wow, wow, wow. All I have to say is I thought this was going to be a negative, uh, negative show. And you know me, I'm not negative at all. But these passengers today embarking on this ship look so excited. I'm so happy that John Hild has captured the environment, the atmosphere of the cruise terminal there in Mobile. People aren't sad. They're not sad that a cruise ship's not going to be there for a full year. This is the last selling of the ecstasy. They are happy. They are ready to go. That is neat to see. We are excited for these passengers as the Carnival Fantasy embarks on her last selling. Here's what's positive about this. She's the first fantasy class ship to have this proper sell away and send away. She has sister ships that are no longer with the fleet. We know that. The fantasy, fascination, imagination, inspiration, and sensation are no longer here. They're not selling. And we did not have this proper send off. It feels good, does it not? It feels good to have this proper send off, this last cruise, where we can celebrate 5,500,000, 30 years with the memories, vacations, happy moments, proposals, weddings, making peace. It's great. Have you sailed a fantasy class ship in particular? Have you sailed on the ecstasy? Let us know in the comment section below. And is it not great to see this celebration take place? Let us know your thoughts on that as well. I have to mention this, the small ships for Carnival, yeah, there's several of them gone, but there's still two remaining. People love these ships. Um, of course, we've got the Paradise and the Elation. They're still here, and there's no plans right now. There's no plans to scrap these ships as well. I've been asked many times over the last several weeks, what is the plan with the Carnival Ecstasy? And the truth is, we don't know. It is very likely that she will be scrapped just as her sister's were scrapped. But there is a slim chance, a possibility, there were talks of this several months ago, that maybe, maybe another cruise line would purchase this ship. They would retrofit her, redesign her, rebrand her for another cruise line. We haven't heard anything official. We hope, we so hope that that takes place. But the probability is that she will be scrapped just as her sisters are. We do know this, though. She's ready to sail, and there are 2,251 confirmed guests, both new passengers and old passengers. I think over 100 diamond passengers who probably sailed this ship many, many times and seen her change so much over the years. She is there. John Hild, of course, is on her as well. John shared this about some special moments on the ship and what's to lie ahead. I have some special events lined up, including a charity auction of some of the ship's memorabilia 
a question and answer session with the captain and senior officers and other fun of events all mixed together with the usual shows and activities the ship's crew have in store. He shared that on October the 6th. It's going to be a great cruise. So many have asked questions about what's going to happen on board the ship. We're going to share some of that. Of course, there's going to be special events. Maybe they bring back some retro things that they no longer do on Carnival Cruise Line. We do know the ship has a couple of sea days. She's also going to Cozumel, Mexico in Progreso. Those are her last two stops with paying passengers before she comes back on this five-day cruise later this week. Can guests take whatever they want? We've been asked this. You know, as you're packing up later this week, can you go ahead and take the pillows, the comforters? Can you take things that you want off the ship? That answer is no. They are going to auction off some memorabilia, but honestly, an assessment and an audit of the ship has already been done by whoever has purchased her. They know what's there. The inventory has been taken. They know what they're purchasing. And these items belong to whoever's about to own the Carnival Ecstasy. So you can't just go around and take all this stuff that you'd love to take. You can't grab that chair and take it off board when you get back. Uh, those things belong to whoever the new owner is. It's great to see this celebration take place and our Islanders who are on board will update us all week. If you're not on our Facebook page yet, Go ahead, hop over there. The, the link is in the description of this video. Go ahead and be added to our Facebook group. We're at over 3,000 members. These Islanders will provide us updates and pictures all week long. And while we're talking about community, make sure you are an official Islander. You've subscribed below. Click that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell on to receive updates and notifications when we upload content. The Carnival Ecstasy, out with the old, in with the new. It's an interesting show as one ship is embarking on her last sailing. Another one, Norwegian Prima. She completes her first sailing from the United States. It was from New York City, and it was a trip, a four-day trip, to Canada and back. Norwegian is excited about the cruise that just took place. They're excited about the Prima. They're doing an awesome job marketing the Prima. And president and CEO of Norwegian, Harry Sommer, said this, as a native New Yorker, this city is dear to me as well to our company, where NCL has been selling from the Big Apple since 1991. So we are thrilled that our newest ship, the Norwegian Prima, completed her first selling voyage from United States in New York City. It's a great achievement of this ship that it's interesting. Some people have been on her already. A lot of it is bloggers and media and travel agents, things like that. Some absolutely love her, think that she is a game changer. And some thinks maybe that she's so different that there's bad reviews. Very, very soon, matter of fact, later this month, Amanda and I will have our own review of the Norwegian Prima as we sell her at the end of October. Make sure, again, you're subscribed, you've ring that bell to receive content. We're going to go live on her as much as we can. What are the things you want to see as we start making that list, pre-cruise list of things that we need to capture? Let us know what you'd like to see. We will do our best to do that for you. It's interesting, to, though, to see how Norwegian has marketed this ship. She's in New York City for the rest of this month. She goes to Galveston. We're on that sailing at the end of October. Then she has one additional sailing with paying passengers. I think it's an 11-day trip before she heads to Florida. She's going to be in Florida for a while. Then she goes back to New York City in March of 23 through May of 2023. Then she goes to Europe. They're really giving this ship a tour. They're giving every region of the country a taste of what this Prima class ship of, is like because the Viva is coming out very soon. And there's four other ships in this class. Uh, there's going to be a lot of them. You're going to see them everywhere uh, in just a few years. We're excited about that. And we can't wait to share experience with you. Islanders, out with the old, in with the new. Let me ask you this question. Do you like those older ships? Do you like the ships that have been around a long time? Maybe you've sailed on them several times. You know what, what to expect. You know exactly where to book your cabin at. You know what's on there. You know the type of people and the crowds that are on there. Or do you like these new style ships? Do you like the newer, the flashy, the big, the bright ships that are coming along? Let us know in the comment section below. And what is one cruise ship that you have not been on yet, that you are dying to get on. You are hoping, you're looking at itineraries, the price is maybe a little bit too high right now, you're looking at your time off, but what is one cruise ship that you haven't been on from any cruise line that is on your bucket list? You want to sell on that ship, let us know in the comment section below. It's gonna be interesting to see if we see the same three, four, or five cruise ships 
on this list. Be sure to list yours right below. We hope you have a great Monday. We can't wait to see your comments below. We're going to respond to your comments throughout the day, and we will see you tomorrow right here on Island Time.